Hello, hello, and welcome to Gemini Soul Tarot, guys. This is just me connecting with my divine feminine. Now, you know you can be masculine or feminine. just depends on if you're in the masculine side or the feminine side. It just doesn't matter. See, and the difference is when you're in the feminine side, you're a little bit more soft, a little bit more mushier. You're worrying about the dishes being washed, <laughs> the house being vacuumed. Now, don't get it wrong. Some masculines do that too. But, you know, you're worrying about that love part, right? When you're in that, your emotions. Uh, a lot of time, divine feminine, you in, and and when you're in the divine feminine, it's about stability, commitment, home, children, like that, right? And when you're in a divine masculine, it's more too. They have it. It's just different. Uh, the stability is the car filled up, you know. Um, how much gas costs now? Did it go up? Got to watch the news when I come in. You know, this is not like I got to change the baby diaper, pick them up from daycare. Some of them do it now. Some of you divines is on and popping. But that's just the different energy and mindset. So, okay. So, anyway, let's get back to it. This is Divine Feminine. And, uh, guys, this may not resonate with all of you. And that's fine. Um, hmm. Coming out right away. In the Emperor. So, hmm, right now, I see you standing in your power. You feeling good, looking good. Oh, you smelling good, too. Right? Divine Feminine is in their power right now. They feeling abundant. Some of you may be pregnant at this time. I'm feeling that you're looking at your life around you, just how far you come, and you really, really feel that you've accomplished some things in your life. You really feel that the wheel is starting to turn in your favor, um, some of you could have found love over this retrograde, right? Some of them may be coming back. It, you know, the other thing is I'm seeing some people see you so, they look at you and see how far you've come. It's like, you're like a blessing, amazing to them. They like, wow. Because as the empress, right, you, you look like this, but you look like that because you have open heart, right? You trust, you believe, you're very connected spiritually to the divine, um, and at the end of the day, even when you had hard times and trials and tribulations, you didn't give up. You like kept putting that face on every day, right? That nice makeup, that, that lipstick, combing your hair, going to get your outfit, going to get your feet did, get your nails did. You know, when you were down and confused and wasn't sure what it is you wanted to do, you literally just focused on you, Right. And I feel that abundance is all around you. And if it's not just in, and I feel that there's definitely money around you. Um, but I also feel like you feel you're able to grow something now. I also feel that things that you didn't see before about yourself, you're starting to see now. And that's because you're more in your emotional side. You could have been more in your masculine in the past. Just, you know, trying to stand your ground, guard yourself, make sure you have respect for yourself. And it probably was not easy. You may have had some toxic ways that you truly had to let go to become this empress, right? Because you don't just become the empress. You put the work in and you do healing. You do uh, meditation. You just reach out to your spirit guides. And most and foremost, you put the work in. And if that's like your inner you, your childhood, being left out in the cold, maybe your beliefs and religion, just finding your own path. You know, you become the empress when you get out there and try to find your own path. And that path usually does not match what someone wants you to do. It usually does not match how someone wants you to be, right? Just say simple, like maybe the family wanted you to be a lawyer, right? And you wind up being a nurse. Well, you, the reason you wind up being a nurse and you're in this empress mode is because you took your path, less travel. To, didn't matter what other people wanted, right? Could have been the legacy in the family. You're supposed to be a lawyer. Everyone is a lawyer in the family. And he was like, well, I don't want to be a lawyer. I want to help people in different ways. Like, because they both help people, right? They both help. Everybody needs, you know, people use lawyers and Sometimes, and we ain't going to get into that, but the point is that you wanted to help in a different way. Your heart was called to help in a different way. And because you've helped and you've gave so much, even towards, you know, I just feel there's some people you had to let go on your journey that you really didn't want to. 
and you probably have been nourishing them and caring for them for quite some time, but they, you just outgrew them or what they wanted from you, you couldn't give them. And you love and like them, right? So you don't judge them. You know, the empress don't judge. The empress pays attention to their own abundance. I know I'm saying a lot for this one card, but that's all. Maybe that's just the end of the reading. You're the empress. All right, divine feminine. No. <laughs> okay, let me just see what else we got here. Divine feminine like that. Oh, we have the we got the little page of swords here. So, Empress, like I was just saying, that clarifies this. People are watching you. They're like, how you do it? What made you do it? What made you change? What made you leave that relationship? What made you finally wake up? What made you go ahead and finish school? Or what made you continue to walk this road during the time that whatever is going on? Maybe you made some investments. And people are like, that's crazy. Don't make that investment right now. You don't know which way the world is turning. But you had faith and you kept on going. And whatever it is, you're having a victory. Look, I can't make this sip. Now, I did not. Y'all might say she sneaked that at the bottom. No, I didn't. Look, you got to have faith. And you're having a victory right now in your life. I'm just feeling some empress feels so good that you are having sleepless nights. Your mind is open a little bit now. You're a little more clear. And I'm also feeling like this healing has helped you to stay out of your head as much. Now, definitely, um, if situations come up, you have to think about it, right? You have to ponder about it. And everybody's like, you know, the nine of swords is, you know, it's awful. It's uh, anxiety and things like that. But it's also when you come out of it, it's being connected to the spirit. It's being connected to your beliefs you'll know that you know the things that you know the things you believe in that can't nobody take from you that journey you was on that everybody think was so perfect they just don't know how you got there how you had to keep getting up every day and put your best foot forward with a smile they don't know the sleepless nights that you had when you cried, the times when you were juggling or rob, rob Peter to pay Paul, the times where, you know, you thought a relationship was going to work out, but it didn't. Um, the times where you were, you know, had third party energies going on in your life, yet you're trying to move forward and heal and continue to stay stable without losing your stability, you know. Um, and maybe even if it's taking care of the kids and realizing now I got to do it on my own, making that choice to walk away from a marriage and you got two and three children, Wait, walking away from a marriage after the children was grown and gone and realizing, okay, this, this joke is up. <laughs> That's what I just heard. So I just said, this joke is up. Like, really? What you do, Empress? <laughs> What you do, Empress? Like, this Empress is like, okay, the last child then left for high school, college, or whatever, then moved out. This joke is up. <laughs> like, I feel you may have had someone sitting there like, what you doing? Packing. <laughs> oh, we going on a trip. We ain't going nowhere. It's just me. It's just me. Because you can't go on a trip. You know why? Because you've been tripping ever since we've been in this marriage. Uh-uh. Don't y'all get me started. And no matter what you do, there is a victory. So if you're even thinking about doing that, you got the six of ones under the bottom. And again, the six of ones is people seeing you. They seeing the moves that you made to better yourself. And everything you did out of love and light for yourself and you know, it's not selfish because where you at, if you look back at where you at from where you came from, maybe if you had the hard times and you was on the struggle or a grind trying to figure out how to be this empress, how to continue on your journey, even with the stress that you were having daily, the unsecure thoughts that you may have had in your head, sometimes, the, you know, self-esteem was down. Uh, even with all of that, you still move forward in love. You still move forward without hurting and creating karma behind you. Like some people, you know, they start doing whatever they can to cut people off and get on top any way they, they can. And I don't see this. I see, yes, you may have had to cut several people away, but you, you cut them away for their highest good and your highest good. Some of these people you didn't even cut away, Empress, that this um, people was cut away because the universe divine seen who you were, what you had to offer, the direction you was going, and they seen you working from your heart. So the universe went ahead and released these people from you. And you probably cried, uh-huh, look, 
the devil under the bottom. I can't make this up. You probably cried, didn't want, didn't understand the universe. It's like one time or so you might want to give up and felt the universe was against you. But the universe wasn't against you. The universe was saying there's too much toxic behavior in your life at this time and I must remove it one way or the other. Now, the Divine Feminine, you know we ain't perfect, honey. You could have had a drinking problem, alcohol problem. I mean, look, alcohol and drinking is the same, right? Okay, whatever. But, you know, a drinking problem, maybe... Um, some other type of drugs, maybe, you know, and toxic behavior don't necessarily have to be drugs and alcohol. It could just be your mindset. You thought less than yourself. You ain't have a lot of esteem for yourself. You've been getting duped a lot, you know, letting people just come in and out and borrow and use and slam the door and come back in, giving them the key to come back in whenever they wanted to. And, and, and it was wrong. It wasn't right. You know, nobody deserves that. Everybody deserves an equal give and take and love in a relationship. And so I'm feeling like this went on for some time. And the divine just stepped in and was like, you know what? This dude, this gal got to go. They got to go. I, I, I don't want them around my child. Right? And it's not that divine saying they not the child, but they like, if I separate y'all, you're going to have time to go in your corner. This person going to have time to go in their corner. Now, the divine feminine, you probably was a little upset being the empress and not knowing you was the empress. But that was so that you can grow into the empress and see who you are. Because once you release from toxic behaviors around you and people, you have no other choice but to move forward. You have no other choice. You know, I had a person ask me one time, like, you know, in a reading, they want to know, you know, is it time for me to go? You don't have to ask a tarot card, is it time for you to go? When it's right and, you, and you're in love and light and somebody is doing you however it may be, sometimes it be lessons, and I know that's not the best way to put things, but the divine will make it where you have no other choice but to leave. When I tell you no other choice but to leave, you sitting there pondering, should I go, should I stay? He will make it where you have no other choice but to leave. So whatever somebody would be saying to you would mean absolutely nothing. Because when that time comes, you're going to pack on your own. You ain't going to need no tarot card reading. You ain't going to need no counseling. You ain't going to need to argue. You ain't going to need to ask this person. The decision is going to be made right here and right here. What do you deserve? Who are you? And where are you going? Okay? And can this person go with you? Is this person a burden? Is, and it don't necessarily have to be a soulmate, a lover. It could be a mother, a daddy, a child. It could be a close friend, a best friend, a sister, a brother. At some point in time, you realize that this is enough and I must move on, right? And that's when you continue your journey. So when you find your... I just talk too much. Let me keep going. Okay, y'all seen the devil. We ain't putting that out because that's gone. Y'all done already worked. That's right. We have the three of pentacles now. Now we collaborating with people on our level. You know what? Empress. Empress, right? Okay? Emperor and emperor. We're not accepting nothing else. We're not accepting the little pages. The only thing we're going to accept from a little page is a, that, that, that little page is a new adventure. A new path. That's the only thing we're accepting from a page. A new adventure. We're not accepting small offers. Okay, Divine Feminine? We're not accepting small offers. What we're accepting is a new adventure. A new start in, on our path. Okay? And what's our new start on the path? Okay, let's give an example. So someone comes in to you. You are my everything. They see you in this Empress status, right? And they come in and they want to get with you. They want to build with you. Right? They come in. They show up. You know, you don't uh, feel that you got to keep locking the door behind them. We're in a relationship. We're not in a relationship. We're in a relationship. We're not in a relationship. That, that, that's, that's a pinnacle you accept in less than. Now, page of pen when you do it, that's a page of pinnacle accept in less than. Now, the page of pinnacle is wanting new growth one. That's coming in saying, I love you, right? That's coming in my soulmate. That's you putting in equal give and take. I'm putting in equal give and take. We're just starting out. But your energy feels good to me. Right? I'm not drained when you leave. I don't feel you deceptive. We ain't got to be arguing back and forth, texting, not calling, blocking, all that. 
That's that little bitty page of pentacles. That's, that's not the new journey. That's them giving you a little bit, hoping that's enough. I'm talking about the page of pentacles for a new journey. That means come in, where what, what you see yourself in five years? What is it that you like? What is it that you want? Let's see. Let's talk about it. Get a notepad out. You write 10 things down. I write 10 things down. Let's see. Do we match here? And then most and foremost, your intuition and check your energy. That's the real page of pentacles for the journey. Because, you know, I look at page of pentacles two different ways, right? I look at it two different ways. All right, spirit. What else we got? Hmm. <clears throat> Queen of Cups, you in your emotions. You in your emotions. <laughs> this may be definitely for me too because I was just guided to just do a Divine Feminine reading today. And, I, you know, I'm just like, let's just do it, you know. Um, definitely, guys. Also, I'm just in a good mood because I got a join button now. So you can definitely come and join my memberships. You got levels one, two, and three. All of them are great. Um, you can go over there and, all, and and see that tutorial, and it'll tell you all about the memberships. But regardless to if you join or not, love and light. You know, Gemini loves you no matter what. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That, you know, never mind. Okay, anyway, Queen of Cups. I feel there's something you love so much. And guess who that is? Guess what it is, who it is? Guess what it come under? Look, Divine Feminine, this is it. This. Now, it could be a same-sex relationship. You could be definitely in love with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, towards Virgo, or Capricorn. But the thing is, you looking at yourself for exactly who you are. Look at that. That's you. So proud of yourself for where you came and where you at. Like you wouldn't trade it for the world. You like, I know this trial. You know, when I see that um, queen of cups, she looking down at that cup. She like, man, my heart been through a lot. Emotionally, I've been through a lot. But look at me now. I'm abundant, prosperity, harmony. My heart's in the right place. I'm getting the right offers towards me. Or most and foremost, I have my boundaries up. And I now know who I am and what's good for me. That's really nice. That's really nice. That's really, let me get two more cards. I ain't put, really? That gotta be a divine feminine. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You wanna be out there doing, what is they doing, Bloom? We'll wait. Cause the message is still coming. See, they hating on us. That's what it is. They hating on the divine feminine. Not the divine masculine. Not the divine masculine. That's what. Basically not. That's just the masculine. He ain't no divine. I don't know that because I don't know him. But anyway. Let's see. Really? Somebody don't want me to finish giving you your praises. I tell you what. The devil is a lie. <laughs> The devil is a lie. Yes, the devil is. <laughs> Look, y'all know you can't deny the sword. Tell the truth, girl. Tell the truth, Gemini soul. And that be me. This is it. Masculine, feminine, don't matter. It's like, keep going. Just keep telling what you need to tell them. This, this is inspiring for somebody. You helping somebody. That's all that matters. He told me to just keep going. He said, uh, he, look, he said, just keep your balance. Don't pay attention to them. Don't juggle what's going on outside with this reading. Just keep going. And I am. I'm just going to keep focused, right? <laughs> Hold on to the message. Hold on to the message, Gemini soul. Hold on to the message. Don't let them throw you off. Four pinnacles. <laughs> All right. So, guys, look. This is beautiful, Divine Feminine. I think you guys are in a very beautiful place at this time. Yes. It came out in reverse. So a lot of you guys have already come out of the healing part. You like, look, I've been inside Herman Moe healing. But while you were in there, Divine Feminine, you was thanking them. You was thinking, it was hard. Right? Because you got like the three of swords. Because I always say the three of swords is in the four of swords. You go in there because something in your life, and it don't have to be that somebody cheated on you or whatever. It's something in your life that you was like, wait a minute, there's got to be something more out here. Because this cannot be all that this world offers, divine offers. Like, you was like, I'm a good person. And I keep having 
certain things that come up in my life that throws me off balance. And you just was like, why? Why does this keep happening? But the universe said, that's so we can make you stronger. So you'll be able to handle this stuff a little bit better. So you can handle it right. That's why he did it. So you can handle this stuff a lot better. So it don't break you as fast. You know, don't be that wuss. Get up, Gemini checks, right? You know, and I'm a Gemini guy. So it's like we got two people. So can you imagine? I don't know what side you is. I don't know who all came in here. But when I got two people I got to deal with, it's enough. It's more than enough. And I got, I got a Cancer Mercury. I got a Virgo rising. Aquarius North North. That's a lot of people. I'm already starting with two people as it is, right? So definitely give me a thumbs up if you any of those signs down below. And because uh, I want to know how many of you guys actually look at the Divine Feminine Reading and if it resonates and what signs it resonates. So down below, just put me your sign down there if it resonates with you. It really will help me, Divine Feminines, right? And even if you're Divine Masculine at this time and you know someone and this reading definitely resonates with, put their sign down below. I would appreciate that. And definitely give me a thumbs up. But you guys have come out of this healing now. And you're ready to go. If I see this one more time, if I see this one more time under the deck, six of ones, you're ready to go. You're shining like that new money, okay? You got a new beginning. Oh, you got clarity. You feel good. You're not so clogged in the brain. Like, you closed the door to those relationships that just was making you worry and stress. Holding you back, deceiving you. You just heal from that. And it didn't have to happen yesterday or two days ago or a week ago or a month ago. I just feel like you got rid of the clutter. You know how you get at the end of the year or the middle of the year, however you do it. And you know them Virgos. And they um, start cleaning out and donating everything. I feel like you just said, I'm going to donate this pain to the universe. And I make space for something new, right? You know what you made space for? This. You made space to be able to move on and have a victory and take control of your life and not let those things hold you back no more. You know? You just like, some people you forgave. You probably never think you'll forgive them. I'm feeling like the divine feeling. I'm like, I forgive you. I forgive you. <laughs> and I forgive you too. <laughs> you know? It's like, you don't really want to like forgive. You was like... <laughs> You know how you like lose a breath, you know? And some of these things you manifest and they came in and you realize you was manifesting from a place where you were broke. And when I say broke, not broke like money. We ain't didn't have no money either. But <laughs> he may have took the money, I don't know. But no, I don't mean broke. But a place where you was confused about who you were. A place of a place where you didn't even know anymore why you were here and what the purpose was for. Or that you could even get up again and keep walking, right? This is this is beautiful. Y'all, I don't want to hold y'all. Yeah, I don't want to. I hate to do this. See, I should have just ended this. Man, y'all finna be like, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> so always something spirit saying, look under the cards for you. All right, now that you done did all of that. You know, having that nostalgia. I see, you know, I feel like, I just feel like it's two different things I see here, Divine Feminine. Okay, yes, you're making a choice. It's something from the past you're going to have a victory in. Hmm. But it has to do with an apology. It has to do with a couple of. Now, y'all know me. If y'all didn't watch my channel long enough, what I say about this page with this um, cup in there. One or two things. You coming in trying to make babies. So some of you divine feminines could be pregnant. Y'all never thought you would get pregnant. Like, all the good things is happening, right? You're moving forward. You just found out you're pregnant. Or you just had your baby. Or you were so scared to have your baby during this time. And you're doing fine. You're doing perfectly fine. Doing better. 
you know, than you were thought you would be doing. And maybe you were scared, so you came out of that scarcity mindset of bringing some child into the world right now with the world the way the world is. But you know the divine say let things be. Like everything happens for a reason. So you and that child are gonna be fine, okay? I don't know who that was for, but I just heard that message. It's a side message. Anyway, yeah, it's like also I see this you chose, right? Two of ones, six of cups, and the victory, six of ones. And we have the hermit. Y'all, my fingers can't hold all of this. But it was I'm gonna try to do the best I can. Cause I need y'all to really see this story. So you was enlightened. Once you got the clarity, you went here. You made that choice. Two of ones to choose you, right? And when you choose, chose you, you had to lead things in the past in order to have this victory, right? That's what you had to do. Once you was enlightened, you chose you to go out on this new adventure and world to start focusing on you. See how you got your back turned to this path, right? It's like, or you looked in the past at some point in time where you was victory and success and something broke you. And you didn't think you could ever get back there. But you're back. Back large and in charge. You understand what I'm saying? Back large and in charge. This is so beautiful. So beautiful. So beautiful. I don't even know. It's nothing else I could say. Y'all, I had only wanted to make a little 15 minute read for you guys for Divine Film. But uh, definitely give me a thumbs up. Share, subscribe if you guys like this. Um reading and I would do my best to try to do a divine feminine <clears throat> weekly reading or at least monthly reading so let me know if y'all want a weekly reading or a monthly reading let me know love and light divine feminine see you next time bye